hey hi all in this video we will be discussing about the governance limits in salesforce we have for apex so what is governance limit uh, governance limit is nothing but sets of rules and regulations that restrict the monopolistic use of the resources on the cloud by this or that organization that's using salesforce so what do you mean by that as we all are aware like salesforce is a cloud company and they are using uh, they are using a multi-tenant cloud environment or architecture so there are multiple instances or what we are using as a salesforce org is an instance and there are multiple instances that are running worldwide so no organization can can take all the resources at a particular time so there are a governance limit defined for every org so if we are saving a record then uh, there there are limits defined like how many records we can save how many records we can query and all stuff like that so there are limits for every org or for every uh, for every org and for every transaction which we do in salesforce like if there is any automation there is a limit if there is any call out then there is a limit how many call outs we can do in uh, 24 hours or in a day and how many rows can be retrieved through an sql query how many rows can be searched through an sql query so that's uh, what is governance limit in salesforce so these are uh, uh, you can define like it is a salesforce governor limits cheat sheet so in this uh, total number of sql queries we can uh, we can have in a single transaction it's 20 uh, total number of DML statements per transaction is 150. DML statements are insert, delete, uh, and that all. And that, uh, the number of records retrieved by a single SOSL query is 2000 records. Uh, and the total number of records that were retrieved by SOQL, Salesforce, uh, Salesforce object query language, is the abbreviation of SOQL, is 50,000 records can be retrieved in a single transaction. Total number of records retrieved by database.get query locator is 10,000 records which can be retrieved. Salesforce governance limits for heap size is 6 MB or 12 MB according to your Salesforce org edition. Then we have per transaction apex limits for synchronous transaction. Uh, what do you mean by synchronous transaction? Uh, the actions which are the what if we write any trigger or a process builder and as soon as we save a record uh, that action will take place. So that is synchronous transaction. So SO, SOQL queries issued total number is 100. You can add 100 SOQL queries. Then records retrieved by SOQL queries are uh, 50,000 records, which we can be which we can retrieve. Records retrieved by database.get query locator is uh, 10,000. Then SOSL Salesforce object search language queries issued uh, are 20. Records retrieved by one so sl query is 2000 dml statements issued is uh, 150 and records processed as a result of dml statements approval process or database dot empty recycle bin is uh, 10,000. then call outs per transaction is 100 and max number of methods with with the future annotation allowed per apex annotation is uh, 50 so that's all for governance limits and governance limits uh, you should be aware of what what the governor limit is uh, for a particular uh, transaction because many times we face exception like a 101 error uh, if we are if we have written uh, for an example uh, we are working uh, we are working on with SOS, uh, soql queries and we are querying some data in a for loop and that for loop is running more than 100 times then you will face 101 error so ql error 101 error so that's why and uh, uh, this is basically asked in interview questions like uh, do you know what is governance limit and uh, what is the limit for uh, how many rows can be retrieved uh, in a single transaction of soql so you should be aware of this thank you have a nice day